According to the U.S. Postal Service, there were 43 dog attacks on mail carriers last year. That's the 10th highest in the nation. As Eric Nelson found out, dogs sometimes make mail delivery a challenge. If we see a dog outside, we don't even attempt to deliver the mail. We might not even attempt to deliver the entire block. Dogs might be man's best friend, but they aren't the mailman's best friend. Scary encounters, five to ten, but I've been fortunate never to have been bit. For eight and a half years, Ruthie Pisk has delivered the mail for the U.S. Postal Service. She has had some close calls with neighborhood canines. It gets your adrenaline pumping and you can't calm down for the next half hour. It's very scary and it's something that we need to be aware of. It's absolutely serious. I mean, safety first. One thing that, that we owe our people is the opportunity to come home every day safe and sound and get back to their families and get back to their life. There were 6,755 dog attacks on mail carriers nationwide in 2016, which was 200 more than 2015. Rain, sleet, hail, heat, or snow might not stop the mail from being delivered, but aggressive dogs will. Stay. If we do have an incident, there's a possibility that we could curtail somebody's mail, that we wouldn't deliver their mail until the dog issue is addressed or they put their mailbox out on the street. Stay. Oh, that's pretty good. When a carrier is attacked by a dog, it can be very costly to the pet's owner. You could potentially be liable for the injuries that they incur, and you could also be uh, liable for the lost work time because the Postal Service has to cover that cost. Hi, Lizzie. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back to the <laughs> The post office will be coming to that owner for reimbursement if a carrier is injured and has to lose work. <laughs> The Postal Service trains mail carriers on how to deal with potential attacks, but there is no surefire way to avoid one. 